So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedboxing, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, it really helps me out if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel, it is appreciated. So I watched the Face Off episode with Max Kellerman between Canelo Alvarez and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. for their fight on May the 6th this Saturday night. And face off is a similar concept to the gloves are off. Actually, I think that's where gloves are off got the concept from, because face off has been around a lot longer than the gloves are off. Basically, two fighters sit at a table, Max Kellerman's in between them, just like Johnny Nelson is on the gloves are off on Sky Sports, and he just fires questions at them about the upcoming fight, about the career, about why they're fighting and stuff like that. And this was a very intense episode of face off for Max Kellerman. There was a lot of animosity, especially on Canelo's side. You could just tell he did not like Chavez Jr. at all and that he don't respect him as a fighter and he even said that. He said that Chavez Jr. is a disgrace to Mexican boxing. He put shame on it by the antics he got up to outside of the ring by not training, by fighting guys he shouldn't have been fighting. Basically saying he's a disgrace to Mexican boxing and he put a doubt on the sport of boxing when he was a champion with all the stuff he was doing etc. And then Canelo said that he takes on all challengers and Chavez Jr. said, yeah, you're taking on the challenge of me because you don't want to take on the challenge of Gennady Golovkin because you fear you'll get knocked out in that fight. And Max Kellerman said that Chavez Jr. might be draining for this fight. He's draining down and he said that to Canelo, you're making Chavez Jr. drain down for this fight because you're the A-side and that's your demands. And then Canelo said, well, that's the sacrifice I've got to make. Well, I had to make these sacrifices when I fought Mayweather. And Max Kellerman said something really good. It was something Virgil Hunter said. He said, when you're the A-side, it's all good when you're the A-side. Because you can set the demands, you can set what money you want, you can set what weight you want. But you can't go around and say you're the best fighter when you're setting all these demands and you're giving yourself an advantage over another fighter then you can't say you're the best it's okay having these demands you can make as many demands if you want when you're the a-side but don't go around saying you're the best and yeah there's so much animosity in this fight i don't think canelo likes Chavez jr for the fact Chavez jr has been going around saying he'll knock canelo out in eight rounds and Canelo's a no one. I think Canelo feels very disrespected by Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. saying he's only been fighting small guys and Canelo saying, look, I've been fighting guys who have been in my division and I've been fighting the best. Who have you fought? And stuff like that. So I think he felt very disrespected by Chavez Jr. To quote Birdman, he wanted Chavez Jr. to put some respect on his name. <laughs> And I think this fight is going to be a good fight on Saturday night. But the size difference was so noticeable. Chavez Jr. is so much bigger than Canelo in terms of height and build. Like, Chavez Jr. looked massive facing Canelo. Like, Canelo is only 5'7", Chavez Jr. is 6'1". And a lot of people are saying, oh, that won't really matter, etc. But I think if Canelo manages to stop Chavez Jr., say what you want about Chavez Jr., He's been washed up and stuff like that. But I think that's a real statement to the other guys in the middleweight division because Chavez Jr. is massive compared to Canelo. So if he can stop Chavez Jr., especially being the smaller man and Chavez Jr. having a very good chin, then that shows how powerful Canelo can be at middleweight and it sets a statement out to the other fighters like Gennady Golovkin, who I think Canelo should be fighting late in 2017. But... This could be a tough test for Canelo. Oscar De La Hoya's even said he's been nervous about this fight. At first, when the fight was signed, he thought Canelo would just walk through Chavez Jr. because Chavez Jr. has been undedicated to the sport. Chavez Jr. knows now how high this fight ranks compared to the rest in his career that he's had. And he's took this fight very seriously. Chavez Jr. and he's trained fantastic. He's in the best shape of his career. And now... Oscar De La Hoya wasn't really expecting that and now he's saying he's nervous for the fight because this fight could end up being a very hard fight for Canelo. But anyway, I'm not going to go on too much about this. You can check it out on YouTube. It's around on YouTube somewhere. 
if you're from the UK, you won't be able to get it, obviously, because you don't have the HBO network. But comment below in the comment section if you're